My name is Scott Phillips, game director on Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Today we're playing as Jacob's twin sister, Evie, the master of stealth. Evie has her own unique story, skill tree, and stealth abilities. This is what we call a black box mission, where you choose your own path to achieve your goal. Lots of guards, predictable patrol routes. Thorn may already be inside. Better stick to the shadows. We are now approaching the iconic Tower of London. Evie suspects that the vault of the tower might contain the Shroud. Pieces of Eden are artifacts created by the ancient First Civilization and are sources of great power. Each of the doors to the tower is being watched by royal guards. To avoid attracting too much attention, let's find another way in. Let's use the iconic assassin rope launcher to scale the building. We're now reaching the vantage point highlighted by the eagle icon. Vantage points are the starting points for all of our black box missions. Black box missions follow the Assassin's Creed Syndicate 360 philosophy. It's about giving the players a goal and letting them choose how to achieve it. In this mission, we need to assassinate Lucy Thorne, a powerful Templar also looking for the Shroud. The Shroud is in a chest that matches the key. Find it and bring it to me. Halt! Escort it to the keys! Halt! Who comes out? The keys! Whose keys? Queen Victoria's keys. Pass Queen Victoria's keys. You're not with the Royal Guard. How many of you are there? Tell me. Let me go. This is treason. Just you wait until You've I get You've just seen out. hints on different approaches to the mission. It's up to you to decide whether to choose an opportunity presented or create your own opportunity based on your playstyle. Before we continue the walkthrough, let's have a quick look at two of the different paths. The first option we'll show is stealing the tower master key. You need to steal the master key from the guard captain. Then you need to make your way unnoticed to the top of the tower. Then enter the locked door and sneak past Lucy's guard and surprise the target from above. But let's choose another path. Our second option is to liberate the constable taken hostage by the Templar. We need to infiltrate the building first, take out the Templars inside the house, use the new Voltaic bomb, incapacitating multiple enemies at once, get the key to the room where the constable is locked in, get the constable's help to rally his troops, and take the Templars head on. But let's choose another path, one that better suits and highlights Evie's unique stealth capabilities. In the opening sequence, we saw a guard attacking an imposter. Let's go see what's going on. The player's options are highlighted in the environment with different icons. We want to reach the skull icon to investigate this opportunity. We will need to be careful not to get detected by the royal guards in charge of patrolling the tower. In order to reach the guard, we'll use Evie's chameleon ability as we have to go through the garden. This skill is unique to Evie and allows her to become virtually invisible to the enemy, even on open ground. Once Evie has acquired the chameleon skill, it will trigger automatically when you stay still in stealth mode. This skill is also available in the open world when you're playing as Evie. This is the guard we saw at the beginning of the mission. He is a Tower of London guard and a friend of Henry Green, the master assassin of London. We need to reach him and talk with him. You're one of Green's friends, aren't you? Thank heavens you've come. That Thorn woman has Templars everywhere, disguised as guards. I think I could pass as one of them long enough to sneak you inside, except the guards out here already know my face. You need to deal with them first. Meet me by the White Tower when you're ready. He tipped us on the presence of Templars disguised as guards in the Tower of London. We need to take them out, allowing us to get closer to our target. Thank you. 
We can use Eagle Vision to identify our enemy and take a closer look at the environment. We have identified one of the disguised Templar guards. The real tower guards are highlighted in blue. We need to be careful not to be spotted by them as their job is to protect the tower. Once again, we see the chameleon skill in action, allowing Evie to get close to her target unnoticed. One Templar guard out, one to go. Another one of Evie's unique skills is Knife Master allowing her to carry more throwing knives and inflict more damage with them than her brother. This suits Evie's stealthy style. A simple headshot will take care of the enemy from a distance, ensuring we remain undetected for the time being. Now that we've taken out both Templar guards, let's get back to our guard ally. That's all for the men out here. What's next? Miss Thorne wants me captured. If she sees me in chains, she might let her guard down. Can you make it look convincing? You mean pretend like you're my prisoner? I'll do my best, Mum. If we get too close, those Templars might realize I'm not one of theirs. Then let's keep our distance. Evie is pretending as if she was captured to safely get close to her target. However, the player remains in complete control of Evie and the guard. As you can see, there's a circle below Evie. You need to make sure you keep your enemies away from that detection circle, or they will figure out something is wrong. I've caught the assassin! Open the door! Inform Miss Thorne I'm bringing in the assassin! I knew. Stand up to Miss Thorne. We are now getting closer to our target. Our strategy seems to be working, and we're passing right under the nose of the Templars protecting Lucy Thorne. Your brother will be next, my dear. I found her wandering inside the walls, ma'am. <clears throat> Thought you'd want to speak with her. Welcome, Miss Fry. Do you care to tell me where the shroud is? As you wish. I shall find it without your help. And then I'll strangle you with it. Watch her closely. <laughs> You never find the shroud. You have no idea what it truly can do. Tell me then. Those were just a few of the options available to complete this mission, 
and only a taste of the 360 philosophy you will see throughout Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Thanks for watching. This is for the players.